smichut, ordination. Secular humanistic Judaism is the heir to many Judaisms. Bible and Talmud, rabbi and heretic, halakha and haskalah, tradition and transformation. Jewish civilization has drawn on its past and created anew in every generation. Jewish culture is inheritance and innovation. A secular humanistic rabbi learns and teaches, receives and gives, leads and inspires. The Hamaskilim Yazhiru Kazohar Harakia Umatz Dike Harabim Kakochavim Le Olam Vaed. And those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Can secular humanistic rabbis make secular humanistic rabbis? The first generation of our rabbis evolved out of other movements, taking the principles of reliance on reason, enlightenment, willingness to change and even challenge tradition in response to modern beliefs in society. They took these principles to their logical extensions. When I was in Israel last December, the International Institute for Secular Humanistic Judaism ordained the second class of graduates from its Israeli program to Murah. I noted then that that was the first ordination where only secular humanistic rabbis who had been trained and ordained as secular humanistic rabbis were signing these certificates as rabbis to testify that these new ordinees were indeed rabbis in Israel, rabbis for the Jewish people. And the same is true for us tonight. We have two professors who have taught these students to sign, and the rabbis who will sign these certificates are a sign of this generational transition in our movement. You see, a real Jewish movement sees to its own future. It creates its own leaders and rabbis. And so I would like to invite to join me on stage for the last time as civilians, <laughs> Karen Levy and Jody Kornfeld. And so I want to read to you the language of the certificate. The faculty and board of governors of the International Institute for Secular Humanistic Judaism hereby certify that Karen Alda Levy and Jody Landsman Kornfeld has fulfilled all of the requirements for graduation and is herewith ordained as indeed rabbi and is authorized and licensed to perform all rabbinical functions as a representative of the Jewish people. Detroit, Michigan, United States of America, this 24th day of October, 2009. And in, and in the Hebrew it asks, Torah, Torah, can she teach? She can teach. Taskil, Taskil, can she enlighten? She will enlighten on the seventh day of the month of Cheshvan in the year 5,770. And so, what remains is the signing and the hugging. <laughs> and so it is my privilege to be able to step to these documents along with Rabbi Sivan Moss, our Dean for Israel of the International Institute for Secular Humanistic Judaism, to begin the process of formally ordaining our two newest rabbis. And now I invite our ordinees to remain standing as we invite forward our rabbis and teachers who will sign the ordination certificates. 
And first, I would like to invite forward Rabbi Tamara Colton and Rabbi Miriam Jerris. Now I'd like to invite forward from the University of Michigan, Professor Brian Schmidt and Professor Gabrielle Boccaccini. Now I'd like to invite forward Professor Yolanda Fleischer and Rabbi Binyamin Biber. Finally, I'd like to invite forward Rabbi Eva Goldfinger, Rabbi Greg Epstein, and Rabbi Judith Side.
There is one thing left to accomplish this process of ordination. And no, it is not the laying on of hands. <laughs> and no, it is not wishing them a yasher koach because Jacques Berlinerblau has banned it from public vocabulary. And it is not even to wish them mazal tov because it's wishing them good luck. And they don't need luck. What we wish them is bahatzlacha, success, and good work in their life going forward. And most importantly, we offer our testimony and acclamation with loud applause. At a traditional ordination, two questions are asked and answered. Yore, yore. Can he teach? He can teach. Yadin, yadin. Can he judge? He can judge. When you ordain a secular humanistic rabbi, our questions are similar and yet distinct, and not only because the Hebrew grammar changes when you're talking to women. Of course, the traditional ordination never envisioned having to change the grammar. We can ask, Tore, Tore, can she teach? She can teach. Taskil, Taskil, can she enlighten? She can enlighten. One of the most famous rabbis of his generation was what we would today call a lifetime learner, Rabbi Akiva. Supposedly did not start his rabbinic learning until he was 40, and he was only able to succeed because of the steadfast support of his wife, Rachel. In fact, the story is that she even sold her hair to enable him to pursue his studies. When we write the saga of Rabbi Jody Kornfeld and Rabbi Karen Levy, we will have to include David and Gary, who appears have made a similar sacrifice. <laughs> Now tonight, tonight is truly a celebration of their families, of course, and of their supportive partners in life. But most importantly, it is a celebration of Karen and of Jody. And just as we celebrated Rabbi Colton with an opportunity to speak, I will again be brief and give them room to speak. They will come forward, they will light a Havdalah candle to represent the many strands of their lives, the many moments that come together in this moment and inspire all of us. Jody Kornfeld found humanistic Judaism in search of a congregation for her family, a school for her children, and of course she soon began running the school and teaching in the school, ultimately being a school director, organizing national conferences for humanistic Jewish educators. And when her own community, Beth Haverim, was formed, Jody realized something I learned a long time ago, a teaching of the Jewish sage Mel Brooks. It's good to be the king. She has earned her master's degree in Jewish studies at the Spurtis College for Jewish Studies in Chicago, where she is pursuing her doctoral degree as well. Her work has always been of high quality through our institute and in everything she does in our movement. And it is a privilege to be able to celebrate her ordination this evening. Karen Levy has been involved in our movement for almost 30 years. 30 years. She was in the first class of Madrichim and Madrichot who graduated from the International Institute's first program, its leadership program. She worked for many years as a school director in the community, now taking that next leap forward. She edited a key primary school curriculum along with Rabbi Eva Goldfinger. She was a co-editor of an important source book of our early modern European roots, which by the way we'll have for sale at the book table tomorrow if you want her to autograph it with the new title. She's earned her master's degree in Judaic studies at York University in Toronto. And again, her work has always been thorough and excellent, whether for the Institute or anything else that she does. And so it is my privilege to welcome to this podium for the first time, Rabbi Jody Kornfeld and Rabbi Karen Levy. <laughs> 